Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is uh, how your test is going to be set up like and how can you submit your answer for this since it's math and it's hard to do on the computer. So um, this is a mock test if you want. Um, so I included only one question. And then as you can see on that page, so when, I, when I click on the test, it's going to show you how many questions you have. All the questions are going to be on the same page. Um, and then it's going to show you the number of questions you have here on the left hand side. So right now it shows me one question because I only have one question set up for this mock uh, quiz. Now, um, as of now, I have 13 questions for your test and I don't think they're going to change. So you're going to have about 13 questions for, um, for that test. And then it tells you for each question how many points they're worth. So you know exactly what you're looking at. The test is going to be timed and it's going to be a two hour test. Um, so you'll see the timer somewhere on the top. Um, now the question is going to be, for example, divide this by this, state the answer in quotient form. You can do this question on a piece of paper and then submit a picture of your solution by pressing the camera and uploading your picture. Or, and you can use also the equation editor, which is harder to do when, when we talk about long division. So in this case, I did the question on a piece of paper. All right, I finished the question right away. I took a picture of it and then I emailed it to myself. So when I emailed it to myself and I open, so I emailed it to myself and I press download and I opened the picture. So here's the picture that I'm going to upload. All right, so I'm going to go back to my quizzes. And as you can see, um, I did everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press this camera and I'm going to say my computer and I'm going to say upload. Uh, I think it's in the download. Um, it's in the download and then I write it as image 2067. So I'm going to look at image 2067. So I see image 2067. I'm going to open and I'm going to add. This image is decorative. Just press that. Okay. And then you'll see the question or the picture right here. Uh, now, on top of that, what I would like you also to do is because it's saying to state the answer in quotient form, so I want you to write the quotient form here, all right? Um, so what you're going to do to write the quotient form, you're going to press on this on these three buttons, and then it's going to give you a list of different things. Important things here, the undo button, and then this here is the graphical equation. So if you press the graphical equation, it opens up all the different commands like in Word document. So what you're going to do, let's say the, the equation was, so I'm going to show you what you're going to write. So I have the fraction and I have X. I'm going to press this for cube and then press the arrow to bring it back down plus X, press this again to give me the square, press the arrow to bring it back down plus X plus 11 divided by, I'm dividing by x plus 2, so it's going to be x plus 2, and equals. So I'm writing the quotient form here, right? It equals to open bracket. So you can open bracket. You can use this, or you can actually use the regular bracket, but here's the bracket here. x power 2, bring it with the right arrow, minus x plus 3. And then to uh, with the arrow also, and it's going to be plus, use this 5 over x plus 2. Okay, so this is your equation editor. These are the different things that you need. This is a less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, whatever, everything that you need here. Okay, plus, minus, division. It's going to hard to do, it's going to be hard to do the long division here. So make sure you do it on a piece of paper. Here are more options. So you can press here to find all your options. Okay. If you need them, you don't need any of this. The main one that you need is the first one. Okay. And then press insert and that will insert your answer here and then you can submit. Okay. So once you put stuff here, you see that now this one has a check mark. So it's checked. It's saved. That's what it means. Okay, it is saved. Now, when you submit your quiz, make sure you press submit the quiz. Um, so this way, when you're done all the questions, obviously don't submit unless you're done all the questions. Um, and this way you will be able to submit your work to me.
okay so as you can see I submitted the picture all right of my work you can go to this and I will show you like full page this one here see um, and then I can see your picture here all right so I can see your work what you have done okay so you can get full marks and you can get part marks if you if your final answer is wrong all right hope that's helpful